-hmm. I didn't have it. My parents didn't have it. My grandparents didn't have it. We've not, it's been only this generation who's had the opportunity to vote. It's not every day you get to hear history from someone who lived it. So when Houston City Council member Letitia Plummer asked her 98 year old grandmother about her first voting experience, she wanted to make sure it was recorded. There was some discrepancy because I was black American and at the time I was growing up, black Americans didn't have an opportunity to vote. The setting was fitting. They had just dropped off Letitia Washington Plummer's mail-in ballot at NRG, which she insisted on doing, and were waiting in line for the younger Letitia to drive through vote. You got your sticker on, which is great. Mrs. Plummer doesn't remember the first time she voted, but she remembers when she was turned away. Took me to downtown Tuskegee, Alabama mm -hmm. to vote. And obviously, we were told that we could not vote. That was the mid 1940s, she says. It would be another 20 years before black men and women got the right to vote. She and her husband, Matthew Plummer Sr., a civil rights activist, kept fighting for the right that day. We went from the courthouse or wherever we were trying to vote to the lawyer's office to respond to the lawyer's questions about what happened when we attempted to vote because the he did, he knew I didn't know because I was naive he knew that the next step was to do a lawsuit to determine to determine why black citizens could not vote in the state of Alabama. The couple, she says, were part of the first voting rights lawsuit in the state of Alabama. Today, she encourages everyone to learn about the struggles of previous generations to know why casting a ballot is so important. Regardless of the situation, uh, voting is your opportunity. The city councilwoman sharing her family's history, American history, so that others appreciate the chance. I think our young people need to realize how fortunate they are to have this opportunity.